Good morning, Bakersfield High School. Today, we remember the tragedy of September 11th, 2001, with this video tribute. Normally, we would have an in-person dedication of a wreath, and the JRTC cadets would present our country's flag during the ceremony. But nevertheless, we want to take a small portion of our day to recognize those who lost their lives, those who have been directly impacted by this tragedy, and those who fight for our freedoms. Nineteen years ago on this day, our country was attacked in a most cold and tragic manner. This happened before you students were even born, yet its impact is still felt throughout our country and the world. On that fateful day, September 11, 2001, 19 Al-Qaeda terrorists hijacked four commercial passenger jet airliners. The hijackers intentionally crashed two of the airliners into the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center in New York City, killing everyone on board and many others working in the buildings. Both buildings collapsed within two hours, destroying nearby buildings and damaging others. The hijackers crashed a third airliner into the Pentagon in Arlington, Virginia, just outside Washington, D.C., the fourth plane crashed into a field near Shanksville in rural Pennsylvania after some of its passengers and flight crew attempted to retake control of the plane, which the hijackers had directed toward Washington, D.C. There were no survivors from any of the flights. The death toll of the attacks was 2,996, including the 19 hijackers. Over 6,000 were injured. The overwhelming majority of casualties were civilians, including nationals of over 70 countries. Additional people died of 9-11 related cancer and respiratory diseases in the months and years following the attacks. The September 11th attacks also led to the U.S. wars in Afghanistan and Iraq, as well as an additional homeland security spending totaling over $5 trillion. The cost in lives on both sides of this effort, friend and foe, is estimated over 100,000, and peace is still elusive. Time in life marches on for all of us, yet for the victims, life ended that fateful day. For the families and friends of the victims, the pain still cuts deep. We also cannot forget those who have fought and lost their lives to end terror. For us here at BHS, I would say that we will honor them by remembering them as we do today, also recognized as Patriot Day throughout the United States. Will each of you in your class or wherever you are, please stand so that we can honor their memory with a moment of silence, followed by the playing of taps.